No. If it's gonna be anything, APJ is gonna be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs>Back to our stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin. As with me, as always, is this idiot named Rick who now wants a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's true. If you know about our channel, go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. Makes you feel happy, doesn't it? Hashtag squad goals. Boom. Also, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Those are our handles. And please support us on Patreon if you don't already do. Thank you. Today we'll be reacting to a requested video. Shocker, thank you for your requests. Yeah, you know what, speaking of requests. Okay. You know how many requests we've been getting for stuff? I'll tell you. You ready for this? Okay. For those of you who think we may not know what requests you're giving to us and how long it's taking us to get to the requests, ready? It's things like Dawn 2, Holiday Baby Sanju, Sacred Games, Agropath, Raxman, I'm not gonna butcher these names, Marzaput, Kick, Shades of Sandu, Gold, Sultan Kick, PK, Ake the Tiger. Oh, and it ends with number 100, World Cultural Festival 2016 highlights. If we did three a day for 30 days, we still wouldn't get everything on this list! How about this? You ready to go? Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's deep. 11th president of India. Yeah, people are really pissed we didn't know that. Now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry we called him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mom? Remember, don't talk anymore. In this episode, it's we're taking a ways. look at one of the greatest heroes to all, if not most, Indians. More popularly known simply as APJ Abdul Kalam. A man who came from humble beginnings and rose up as the leader of a nation. What's happening, everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. And throughout this video, I'll be referring to APJ Abdul Kalam most times as Dr. APJ. And he's literally our most requested topic right now. Like, we have pages of requests from people asking us to do a video on Dr. APJ. People like Jahid Gul, Shivam Kumar, Josh Gamer MC, Tech Hub NEA, Jeshwant Reddy, Manny Dovedi, Kanish Rawat, Young Homie, Anurag Dube, and Pau Piali. And that is just a few of you guys. Now before we officially begin with this video, I want to ask you guys, what or who inspires you? Beginning with the early life of Dr. APJ, APJ Abdul Kalam was born on the 15th of October in 1931 in British India. He was born in a region that is now called Tamil Nadu. In his early years, Years, Dr. APJ spent a lot of his time studying mathematics, which led to a fulfilling career as a scientist. He came up from a poor background and he actually had to start working at a very early age just to supplement their family's income. For work, he distributed newspapers after school and his father, Janulabdin, had no schooling at all. However, he did own a ferry and he took Hindu pilgrims back and forth between Danuskodi and his hometown of Rameswaram, Tamil Nadu. Dr. APJ attended the Madras Institute of Technology and graduated in the year 1960. After that, he joined the Aeronautical Development Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization, or in short, the DRDO. And then following that, in the year 1969, he was transferred to work for the ISRO, and that is the Indian Space Research Organization. Now, from there, that is when his whole career skyrocketed. He was a project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle, the SLV-3, which had successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in near-Earth orbit on July 1980. He was heavily involved in India's military missile developments, and for that, Dr. APJ was nicknamed the Missile Man. And yet, he really earned this name because of his work in the development of ballistic missiles and launch vehicle technology. I mean, this guy was like a gifted, talented genius. So why is this development so important? in terms of ballistic missiles? Well, it gave India another tool that allowed them to have a great tactical advantage 
rather than using the standard cruise missiles. The main advantage is that ballistic missiles can fly above the atmosphere and travel very quickly. Just to give you an idea, a target at 10,000 kilometers away would be hit in 30 minutes. Because of the efforts of Dr. APJ, India's Pokhran 2 nuclear tests in 1998 were advanced much Dang. more quickly as well. Because you see, the previous nuclear test that was done by India was back in the year 1974. So that's more than 20 years prior. As I mentioned before, he is just a natural gifted genius. So it's no surprise that he was a recipient of honorary doctorates from 40 universities. That's four zero. Okay, and check this. His impact as a scientist was so great that in the country of Switzerland, May 26 is considered Science Day to commemorate Dr. APJ's visit to Switzerland. Wow, he even has a national day in another country based off of him. Now, there's so many other facets to his career as a scientist, but I want to quickly touch on his career in politics. Dr. APJ served as the 11th president of India. He won the 2002 presidential election and he was in office from the 25th of July 2002 to the 25th of July 2007. And because of his humble attitude and demeanor, he also earned another nickname, the People's President. But surprisingly to me, and I'm sure to many others as well, although he achieved so much, Dr. APJ was never married. At the presidential residence, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, his hair stylist Ahmed, asked him why he never got married, and his response was this. I was married. I was married to the missile. And that was just solid confirmation that Dr. APJ was committed to serving his nation. Everyone on this planet has a different calling, and for Dr. APJ, it was advancing his country. Now, APJ Abdul Kalam didn't just love his work. He was a great lover of poetry, most specifically Tamil poetry. He could play the Veena as well as he could recite the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita, as well as he knew the holy scriptures very well. The religion he did identify with, though, was Islam. Now, we can't fit all the information about his life in just one video, but I do recommend his autobiography that was written. It's called Wings of Fire. It was first published in English, but has since then been translated into more than 13 languages. Languages. He was a prolific writer and wrote about 15 books. The subject matters on those books range from nuclear physics to his spiritual experiences. You can clearly see why this man was and still is an inspiration to many people. And I haven't even touched on the amount of awards that he received. In the year 1997, he received the Bharat Ratna, which is the highest civilian award in the country of India, as well as here are some of the other awards that he's won. But sadly, all great things do come to an end in this life. While delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, Dr. APJ collapsed and died from apparent cardiac arrest mm -hmm. on the 27th of July, 2015. He was 83 years old at the time. But his legacy will continue to live on in the hearts and minds of many people, as well as through his writings and videos made after him. The life of Dr. APJ even inspired one Hindi film. The movie was called I Am Kalam. It is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is portrayed as an extremely positive influence to a poor boy named Chotu who later on renames himself Kalam in honor of the man who inspired him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This episode of FT Facts was brought to you by Grammarly.com. Don't care for your sponsor. <laughs> but so that was... I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry um, that I didn't know anything about this. Man. Yeah, this is definitely not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. Uh, or my mom. <laughs> and the fact, the fact that this man was the 11th president of India and did everything he did with ballistic missiles and was in office for as long as he was, mm, and I have not heard of him, yeah, I've never heard says of a lot about yeah. my life. Yeah. <laughs> and you're 100. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and I, I'm older than India. It's true. It's true. Um, but yeah, it, it looked really, Dang. he looked really interesting. Uh, it looked like somebody that yeah. everybody should have known yeah, about. Yeah, should have known about. Like, why don't I know about, why am I not knowing about this guy till today? Yeah, what did you think of him? Let us know down in the comment section below. Good you know. night. Uh, was he as good as this video says he was? True. But hey, you know who I do know about? Who? Bob Saget. Oh my god. <laughs> He looked really cool. He had some great hair as well. He did. Trend center. Uh, that's the one thing I noticed of a guy who's gotten 
a ton of awards and has like 50 million. Yeah, that's what you noticed. Yeah. He has some great hair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if, you, if there's other uh, educational videos about India or any other country that you think we need to see. Yeah, because clearly our channel is stupid reactions because we're so stupid we didn't know who this was. Yeah. <laughs> so so bring us more stuff we don't Please know. Please educate us. Please, because remember, we don't have degrees. Yeah. 